Vito Rizzuto, the dawn of the Sicilian Mafia in Canada, is dead at the age of 67. He died early today of natural causes in a Montreal hospital. Rizzuto returned to Canada last year after serving eight years in a U.S. prison. For more on Rizzuto's life in crime and how his death could now affect the underworld in Canada, we turn to Antonio Nicasso. He is an award-winning journalist and mafia expert. He's also an author who has written 25 books on organized crime. Antonio Nicasso joining me now live in Toronto via Skype. Good of you to join me. Uh, there have been no reports, I gather, of Vito Rizzuto suffering from any health problems. So I wonder, were you surprised when you heard of his death today? I was very surprised. Uh, um, when I received uh, this morning the first call at 6 uh, uh, o'clock, uh, learning that uh, he died for uh, health reason. I was not aware of his uh, pulmonary problem. Do you think it could actually spark conspiracy theories? We certainly know that since his return to Canada, there have been uh, murders, some say revenge, retaliatory since his return. Uh, do you think there might be uh, theories floating out there? I don't think so. All right. Well, let's talk about the man. He was often called Canada's most notorious mobster. So how will his death affect the crime landscape in this country? Uh, he was well uh, respected in Europe and very powerful in uh, North America. He was a, a very modern mobster, probably the most modern mobster since the time of uh, Rocco Perry, the king of uh, bootleggers. Perry put his trust on uh, his uh, uh, como law wife when uh, women were mostly uh, householders uh, uh, in the uh, 20s and uh, 30s. Uh, Vito Rizzuto uh, was uh, a man ahead of his time. He um, internationalized the Montreal Mafia by building a strategic connection with the other uh, criminals group uh, world, uh, worldwide. So he was uh, uh, probably be, uh, a, a mobster able to grasp uh, the, the trend of globalization. Who do you think will take his place now? Uh, well, not only in the crime world, uh, we know that uh, when he was in prison and his father and his son were both murdered in Montreal, the, uh, other crime gangs were trying to move into his turf. With him gone now, what do you expect to happen? Uh, I, th I see two possible scenarios. Uh, um, I don't see anyone uh, with uh, the same uh, charisma, uh, the same characteristic of uh, Vito Rizzuto, who enjoyed the same level of uh, respect and power in uh, the underworld. Uh, for that reason, uh, some uh, new conflict may arise because we have not to forget the importance of Montreal is a strategic place worldwide for uh, narcotics is the main port of entry for the narcotics trade in North America. Another possible scenario, if uh, his organization will be able uh, to maintain uh, the power that uh, Mr. Rizzuto was able uh, to uh, regain after his return from uh, U.S., we may see a different structure of the mafia, a more horizontal structure rather than a vertical mafia, a more federation of a clan rather than a mafia monarchy. Uh, and that's what uh, probably we will see in the next uh, future. Like uh, Canada will uh, follow the trend of other criminal organizations worldwide. It will be fascinating. I know you'll be watching closely. I appreciate your expert insight today. Thank you.